It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this super cool kind of ghosting slash trailing effect with a hint of that RGB split kind of glitchiness uh, look to it. And it's super easy to do. So easy, in fact, that you might be blown away on how to actually do this. That you might have not even known that you could actually do this in Final Cut Pro. But if I push play, this is what we're going to be creating in today's video. And you don't need one of those like special kind of kaleidoscope or kind of a filters that you would add to your camera. You don't actually need any of that. You can do this all in post. So it's very easy to do. So no plugins are required and it's very easy. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So before I do begin, if you guys could leave a like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification and leave a comment down below, uh, that will just not only help the YouTube algorithm, but it will also kind of help me to stay motivated. Uh, to stay on that YouTube grind. So what we're going to do first is we're going to hold option and just drag upwards to make a copy. And then we're going to go into the compositing over here. If you don't have this, just click on the inspector window, go to blend mode, and they're going to change the blend mode from normal. We're going to change that to either of these. I always suggest you guys keep it to uh, add or maybe lighten. I think lighten would look pretty good. And once you're here, all we're going to do is go into the transform tool over here. Just click the down arrow and go to transform. Click and drag and just move this over to the right or to the left. I'm going to make four, maybe five copies. So I'm going to drag this one over to kind of like to the bottom right like this. And I'm going to click on done. And once we're here, what we're going to do, we're going to go onto the effects. We're going to go down to masks. We're going to go to shape mask and drag that onto the top copied clip. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this inner circle or this inner uh, kind of green circle. This will control the actual radius or how big the shape is. And then the outer kind of red line will control the featherness. So how soft those edges will be. So if you drag it in all the way, it's going to create a very harsh edge, as you can see, drag this one down. And all I'm doing at this point is just making sure I don't show any of the, you know, video edges, right with the with the feathers, you might, you might want to kind of play around with this. But once you have it to where it looks like this, right? It looks something like that. All we're doing is we're just keeping everything inside of this inner circle or ring. Everything else is being masked out. So once you're here, all you got to do now is go to the beginning of this video. We're going to go into the shape mask and we're going to go to transforms and we're going to hit this arrow and we're going to add a keyframe next to position, rotation and scale. And if you want to add one next to radius, uh, just in case if your video, you know, kind of zooms up, that will also be uh, beneficial to us. And it just saves us time in case we have to go back and change anything. So once you're here, what we're going to do is we're going to start off about here. And what I like to do is go frame by frame, or you can just go shift right on the arrow key and move it to the left. So this will make it so it's a little bit smoother, as you can see. So I like to just move in frame by frame just to see where it's moving the most. So something like this, once it starts to kind of rotate or yeah, once the video starts to rotate, go ahead and rotate this right here. So as you can see, it's going to kind of rotate just like that. And all we're doing is just making sure that this circle here is right on our video or our subject. And we only have to do this once, which is kind of crazy. So we're going to do something like that here. I'm going to rotate this again and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger frame by frame. And that looks pretty good. So now if I go back, you're going to see how this mask is looking. If I push play. Looks like that, super cool. And once you're here, all you have to do is hold option and drag upwards to make another copy. We're gonna select the top clip now. And all you're gonna do is go into the transform tool and just move this one up just like this. And don't worry about the video in the background. We're gonna, we're gonna do something with that in just a second. So we're gonna do something like this, maybe here and I click done, hold option and drag upwards again, select the top clip, go to the transform, move this one over to, I'm gonna move it over on the left side, click done. Hold option, drag upwards, select the new clip, go to transform, drag this one down, something like this, click done. I'm going to do this one more time. Hold option, drag upwards, select the top clip, transform, and I'm going to move this one up like so, kind of almost like a pyramid. Click done. And so now if we go back, it's going to look something like this, but now we can't see the actual subject. So all you got to do is select all of the copied clips, except it should be all of them except the bottom one, right? We're going to right click on that. We're going to click on new compound to group everything together. I'm going to name this. Uh, I'm going to name this grouped. I'm going to click on OK. So if I press V, you're going to see that this will create a nice kind of soft feather. Now all we have to do is hold the bottom clip, select it, hold option and drag upwards. Make sure that's above the actual groups clip. We're going to select the top video. We're going to go into effects. We're going to go into masks. We're going to go to shape mask, drag that onto that video. We're then going to kind of move this uh, radius, which is the inner circle here, or the inner line, red line. The outer red line will control the featherness. So we're going to make this a bit more soft of an edge. 
and we're gonna move this piece inwards like this. So once we're here, all we're gonna do is move the player to the beginning, readjust the mask, because there's no keyframes at this point. And all you gotta do is just do the same thing. So add a keyframe next to a radius, add a keyframe next to the position under transforms, rotation and scale, and then just go frame by frame really quickly. Uh, move the mask as needed, something like this. And you might have to change the, the size of the uh, actual mask, but that's totally fine. I'm just going over it very quickly. I'm gonna start making this a little bit bigger because we're getting closer to our subject via the camera. So we're gonna move this or kind of rotate this now. And we're gonna move this again. We're gonna make, make this one a little bit bigger. I'm gonna start rotating this the other way. And that looks good, perfect. So now we're done. So all we have to do now is just go back, skim through the video and see how you like it. So if I click off of this, uh, we're now finished. So if we can see the uh, video, if I push play, it looks just like that, super neat. And then if you wanna spice it up, which I always like spicing it up, of course, what you wanna do is you wanna go into the effects. We're gonna go into blur. We're gonna go into prism blur. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. So if I push play, it looks just like this and it looks so awesome. If you guys are liking these videos, these more frequent videos, please leave a like and comment down below and I'll catch you on my next video. Peace out.